All right, well, that's uh, we all need a little bit of that on a morning like this. Let's uh, check in now with uh, Seven First Alert meteorologist Mike Taylor. Mike, is it a cocoa kind of morning out there? Hey, I think this sounds like any morning. Could be. You listen to what uh, Alicia was describing. You see that white yeah. bubble so kind of good. pop up in my head. I was actually <laughs> thinking about it. Like, right. Mm, it sounds pretty good. <laughs> Uh, believe it or not, we're actually going to be warming up as we cross over into February and we may even be able to cash in on some sunshine too. I'm thinking that's going to be later this week, so it's a nice way to transition to the next month in winter. Now sunrise will be at 748 this morning, sunset 546 PM. And once we get the sun going, I'm thinking we'll disperse a lot of that fog that's out there. Winds are fairly calm right now, but once again, I think we'll be able to get rid of it. But the clouds are probably going to hold tough. So we're foggy start for this morning and then we'll melt down with more of that snow melting across Metro Detroit, which means those flooding concerns. Unfortunately, they're going to remain, especially those same rivers that are under the flood warning, like the Huron River, for instance, that one's still going to be an issue as we go back and forth with this free stall cycle. We're also worried about the roads because of those potholes. 35 degrees in downtown Detroit, not much of a wind chill. So what you see is actually what you get and what you feel because the winds are light and that's also uh, contributing to the fog that we're seeing. Visibility is noticeably noticeably low in most spots, but it's very patchy and it's not for everybody. Right now you're less than a mile with the visibility and how a little bit better in Lapeer. We're down to three miles in Detroit, not being reported in Pontiac, but I'm pretty sure your visibility is somewhere between that one and three mile criteria. Temperatures above freezing in most spots, but just be aware some slick spots are still a possibility and it is quiet. After yesterday's snow, we're not talking about much of anything sneaking in here. So your bus stop forecast for the ride to school and from school and heading to work. Temps go above the freezing mark near 40 degrees. Today will be the day that we start a pattern where numbers are going to be much milder. Just a slight chance of seeing some rain, enough of a chance to at least mention it for Thursday. Otherwise, how about that weekend? Temps are going to be into the 40s, 45 on Sunday. 40s remain into next week. We'll get the sunshine around as well, but the mornings will start off chilly.